Hey everyone, and this is my skincare routine. Now that I've put the products on the table, it looks like I use a lot of items. Although there's a lot of products, these are the items that I always go back to. And if you've watched my previous videos, then you'll see a lot of familiar products. So the first thing that I go in with is to remove my makeup. And I use two things. So first of all, I use an eye makeup remover and I just use any bifacil cleanser. This one's from Garnier. It's got this two phase oily and watery kind of mixture and then you just shake it up and then you can gently remove all of your eye makeup and then after that I go in with the clean it zero you've probably seen this before and I've used the pink version of it but I went ahead and tried this green version to be honest I didn't really feel that much of a difference and clean it zero it does a good job at removing all of my makeup and then I go in with this Sana soy cleanser this one is the moisturizing one and I like this one because I've been using this brand for more than 10 years and this soybean line, it's always my go-to. I think this is a little bit more on the stronger side now that I've tried even more gentler cleansers. This does kind of leave that rubbery feel on your skin but it does deep cleanse your skin so it doesn't dry out, it kind of leaves a weird Kind of feel like a whale or a squid. Then I go in with toner and this is the Laneige Perfect Renew Skin Refiner. This is more like a jelly texture so you can see it's quite thick and I have previously used this line before. I do wish I could go back to Hong Kong to have that skin analysis all over again because that was pretty cool and I'll link that video up here. But I've just been purchasing these online whether it's from YesStyle or Stylevana depending on which one's cheaper, I just go ahead with them. But this Perfect Renew line, I really like it because it's got a lot of squalane in it and my skin thrives in squalane because it's that hydrating, moisturizing kind of feel. But at the same time, it's got so many antioxidants in there to really protect the skin and also have renewing capabilities. So this is quite a gel texture, but when you take it out and you pump it out, it's more like a watery texture. It kind of just refreshes your skin and then it's ready for serum. So the serum that I'm using right now is the one by Laneige and this is the water bank moisture essence. This comes in two formulations. This one is the moisturizing one for dry skin and then there is a hydro one which is like a thinner formula for oily skin types. So I have more dry skin or dehydrated skin, a combination of them both, but I do have an oily nose and a little bit on the forehead. I kind of steer more towards the dry side than I am the oily. This one was perfect for me and I really love Love how this feels it just glides on so beautifully quite watery but also quite creamy at the same time and it just sinks into the skin beautifully does leave a little bit of a film I think that's the squalane and emollients but it's very hydrating for the skin so then I go with emulsion and this is the perfect renew emulsion and what emulsion does is that Serums tend to treat the deeper layers of the skin, but emulsions tend to treat the top layer of the skin. So it's kind of like the serum for the top layer of your skin. So it's not a moisturizer. It's kind of got the serum capabilities, but specifically to the top layer of the skin, because that is what shows up to the rest of the world. So this is kind of more of a nourishing and hydrating, and it just makes my skin really glowy, and it balances the oil to water ratios within my skin. So then I go in with moisturizer, and this is the Laneige water bank gel cream and it's got this kind of like cream gel texture so I find with Korean skincare they don't really have that deep creamy kind of texture that we have over here in the western world but it is a lot more richer than the light gel creams that you can find. If you want to try a similar feel to this kind of texture I think the closest thing I can think of is the Neutrogena water gel cream compared to their water gel. Those are the different types that you can find whereas in Laneige their version would be the moisture cream and also the Hydra Gel, I think is what it's called. This one, it just seals everything in. It's just super lightweight and it's just a nice occlusive to your skin. And every now and then I like to do a face mask, but the way that I do it now primarily is through sleeping masks. Also from Laneige, I am not sponsored by Laneige, but I just love their products in general. So I have two sleeping masks here and I have a Seeker one, which is more for sensitive skin. And then I have this special cherry blossom one. 
and this one is a really cute one because I love pink and this is just the perfect baby pink and it just looks so cute on my vanity table. This one is more for brightening and softening effects whereas this one is more for calming effects. So Sika Centella Asiatica, amazing for the skin and it's one of my favourite ingredients. I think in terms of preference it depends because I use this more for hydration so if I feel a lot more tired looking then I use this. But then if I have a bit more problematic skin, such as acne or rosacea, then this one is my go-to. The texture of them both is quite different. The Sika one is more of a creamy texture, so it's definitely a lot more thicker in that aspect. So the Cherry Blossom one is kind of more closer to the original sleeping mask, where it's more of a jelly texture. And depending on what you want, then you can pick either of these two. Both of these I apply on top of my moisturiser. A lot of people make the mistake of replacing it with their moisturiser, but it's a mask, you're supposed to put it on top. And then you would reap all the benefits of the sleeping mask. Then I have some miscellaneous things which I always kind of include, but I don't really talk about them as much. The most important one that I should really mention more often is sunscreen. I'm currently using this one from Dalba, and this is the Sun Serum. It's more of a creamy texture, so I have used a lot of the Dalba sunscreens before, and I think I prefer the one where it's more of a watery gel. That one was a lot more lightweight. This one, I'd say it's more creamy, so if you like that creamy texture, it's more suitable for dry skin types. But I think for the summer right now, I kind of regret opening this right now because it's not really summer friendly in my opinion. I think it's more of a winter friendly thing. If you have dry skin, this is amazing. If you have oily skin, try to avoid this and get the watery gel version instead. But I think my favorite sunscreen of all time would probably be the Biore UV Essence. And then my second favorite would be the one from Dalba, which is the watery version. Speaking of Dalba, I also have their Vital Spray Serum. So this one, I really love this and appreciate this, especially in a dry office area. I just shake this up and then I just spritz it. And it's just so refreshing, especially in this heat right now. Currently in the UK, we're going through a heat wave for the second time. So it's really hot and this is just amazing. If you want something cool and refreshing, get this. So there are two versions. So you have the pink one, which is more for calming. And then you have the yellow one, and it's more of a glowy moisturizing kind of version. So I like both, but for now, because it's quite hot and I get a lot of rosacea, this pink one is working wonders for me. And the last thing that I want to talk about is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I typically just use this as a lip balm because I don't really think about wearing a mask on my lips to sleep. Especially for a lip balm, preparing for a makeup look, then this one really does exfoliate the lips in a more chemical peel way. And then it just leaves your lips feeling really soft. So it's such a nice glossy kind of texture. So if you want it as a lip gloss, it does work really well and it's just a really easy go-to so there have been a few mixed reviews about this whether it's worth it or not but for me i think it does a good job so that is everything in my skincare routine if you want to see more of my beauty videos then click over here and i'll see you there bye